Now let's have a look at what sort of diagnostic tests can be conducted to test for an omitted variable or for the usage of an incorrect functional form. Uh, generally when we have selected a model and we have run it, we look at the results. If we have a few positive indicators such as a high R square value, the estimated T coefficients or T ratios of all the coefficients are significant. Uh, and if the signs of these estimated coefficients are uh, as per the theoretical expectations that we had and that the Durbin Watson D statistic is uh, well behaved, that is around 2. If we have indicators such as this, then we would um, accept that the mod model that we have just run is adequate and represents the reality fairly well. However, if you have um, negative indicators, that is if you have uh, problems such as R square value is too low or that R square value is high but uh, only a few of the coefficients are statistically significant or if you see that the Durbin Watson D statistic value is too low and you think that there might be some problem that is when we begin to get an idea that okay something is wrong with the model that I've chosen maybe it is not adequate that is maybe it is missing some important variable or maybe I have specified the model in the functional form of the model that I have specified is wrong and things like that or maybe um, if you have got high R square but low T values for the coefficients then maybe uh, the problem is that we haven't used the first difference form of the time series equation to get rid of the serial autocorrelation. So the, it's when any of these indicators are not satisfied, that is when we start to suspect that we have some problem with our model. So how do we go about checking? The first step will always be examination of the residuals. So whichever model you have decided to run, run the OLS regression on it, obtain the UI hats. So especially when you have cross-sectional data, um, if you have any model specification errors such as omitting an important variable or using an incorrect functional form, simply plotting the residuals will actually give you an idea whether some error has been committed because they will exhibit distinct patterns. If no such errors have been committed, then the plotted error terms will be very randomly spaced. But when you have a distinct pattern, among the UI hats that indicates that some sort of model misspecification has happened. You can use the Durbin Watson D statistic to actually uh, uh, use uh, a test whether your model is correctly specified or not. Uh, the procedure is like this, you will run the OLS regression of the model that you think is correct, obtain the UI hats. Now what you do is, remember right now I'm talking about, uh, uh, okay, yeah, I'm talking about uh, OLS criteria and the Durbin Watson D statistic. So uh, these UI hats, order them according to the increasing values of Z, where Z is a probable candidate which has not been included in the model but which you suspect might be important and need to needs to be included in the model so the suspected omitted variable is z order your ui hats according to the increasing values of z once you have ordered these error terms residuals compute the d statistic from these ordered residuals and use the d statistic table values to see whether it is significant or not. Your null hypothesis in this case is that there have been no specification errors, model specification errors. And if that null hypothesis gets rejected, 
all that means is that we have omitted an important variable so the observed correlation that is if your d statistic is significant then what that implies is that some important variable which should be explicitly added in the model have not been included in the model and so its systematic influence is coming up in the error term and you need to pull out this variable from the error term and include it as an explanatory variable in the model Ramsey proposed a general test for specification error which is called the reset that is regression specification error test the process is like this say we run a misspecified model obtain the ui hats from this model and plot it against your estimated yi that is yi hat if the residuals in this figure show a distinct pattern it will suggest that including y i hat or some form of it that is y i hat square or maybe its cube should be included as an explanatory variable in the original model okay when you add this it should increase your r square or it should increase the explanatory power of the model if the increase in r square is statistically significant we can say that the original model was indeed wrongly specified so the steps involved are written here we run the chosen model through the ols technique you'll compute your ui hat as well as yi hat and plot ui hat against yi hat if this plot shows a, exhibits a systematic pattern that means some form of yi hat needs to be included as an additional regressor so here we have included yi hat square and yi hat cube into the model now including additional variables in the model will definitely include increase the r square or the explanatory power of the model but we want to test if the increase in this r square is statistically significant and for this we take the f test which we have discussed even earlier the f statistic will be based on this formula that is r square of the new modified model minus r square of the old Uh, originally chosen model divided by the number of new regressors so if the earlier one earlier equation was yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus vi here we have included two new regressors yi square and yi cube and denominator you have 1 by minus r square new divided by n minus number of parameters in the new model so in this model i am assuming that y i square and y i cube have been added newly so the number of parameters in this new model is 1 2 3 and 4 so this will be n minus 4 in this particular case one of the main advantages of the reset technique ram says reset technique is that it is very easy to apply and does not require you to specify an alternative model but there there itself we have a disadvantage of this more, uh, reset which is that we know that the model is misspecified but it does not give us an indicator or a clue as to how we can choose a better alternative 